are looking for mighty people of mission, we should be among them. And what we make people to be mighty in mission is very simple. We have to be great and very good in doing missions, in mobilizing and teaching others to do it. Take it off, finish. When we are very great and very good in doing missions, mobilizing and teaching others to do it, we will give that ourselves that name, the appellage and the identity of a mighty talk to it. That everyone who is a believer in any part of the world, yeah, that you are from who starts your mission, say, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> they are mighty men of missions. We should work ourselves to that level. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The second point there is they said, a pile of war. As we all seated here, we are all a pass of mission works. Everyone who's a bona fide member of Full Station Mission International, that's go for Full Station Mission Church, we are all helpers of missions. Helpers of missions are partners. They are stakeholders. And helpers are the people who contribute their own part you do your own best and you, you now encourage other to do the rest. When we are in primary school, we used to sing one song, do your best and leave the rest. No, that is not the position of paper. If you leave the rest, it will not be completed. And no man one can do the whole work. What you do is you do your best and encourage other to do the rest so that there will be a perfect completion. That's helper. You can't sit down. You must have a role to play. In the mission, some people must go. I admit, it is not possible for all of us to go as full-time missions. We soon see it also in, in, in this passage go on short-term mission. And if you don't want to, if you don't want even to go on short-term mission, everyone can pray. This morning, we have already prayed. The, a lady has led us in praying for missionary. We all pray. Nobody ran away. Everybody pray. Nowadays, if you have the uh, WhatsApp, and you have uh, AWMC in, the, in your platform that say prayer not just for advanced, advanced world mission conference, which will take you five or ten minutes of your own time individually. You have prayed. So generally, all of us can pray. And we should pray. Generally, all of us can give. And we are giving. And we continue to give. All of us can encourage. Now the Advanced World Mission Conference is coming. Ask yourself, what am I going to do? For recruitment of students, it is the core responsibility of every full station mission. Number five. I also read from verse 16 to 18 so that you can get what really I want to say. And there came of the children of Benjamin and Judah to the hold unto David. And David went out to meet them and answered and said unto them, If you help me, my heart shall be neat unto you. But if ye be come to betray me, to my enemies, seeing there's no wrong in my hand, 
the God of our fathers, look their horn and rebook it. Then the Spirit of God came upon Amazai, who was the chief of the captains, and he said, Thine are we, David, and on thy side, thou son of Jesse, peace, peace be unto thee, and peace be to their helpers, for thy God helped thee. Then David received them and made them captain of the battle. You see, it's very obvious. Saul, the son of King Benjamin. And the people came to David. David is not God. He doesn't know their mind. But then they have come to play trick on him, to betray him to, to, to Saul. But they said, no, we are for you. What is that? It's loyalty. Loyalty is the biggest thing that you need in mission agency. Every one of us sitting here, we should be loyal to God that we are working for. We should be loyal to the full stature of Mission International, our ministry. We should be loyal to our leaders and we should be loyal to ourselves. Nobody should betray each other. Nobody should betray the leadership. Nobody should betray the ministry. And nobody should betray God. Loyalty is very, very essential. And the Lord will help us to be loyal in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Well, point number six. I hope you are following me. I said mighty men of mission, point number one. Helpers of mission, point number two. I, I said point uh, number three is peculiar people. Those who depend on Holy Spirit to do something. All of us. We need to improve on it. Originally, you have a vision to be the international praying center. God will help us to fulfill that vision. We have people who call the name of God. We not give God rest day and night until God's purpose is done in this world. Right time. See how devil victimized the whole world because of one stupid thing they call coronavirus that they don't even know how it looks like. All of them, they don't know what it looks like. That's why they don't have medicine for it. They are all just guessing. But if we have such international prayer center, Immediately, we get it. As God told some of us, take lime and garlic, nothing will come to your place. And yes, nothing has come to our place with lime and garlic. So, it is time for us to know that mission work is a battle. We need more than monthly to our prayer. We need people that will have close intimacy with the Holy Spirit to know the mind of God and the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Point number eight. I will read verse 33 and interpret it also.
what as you said of Sebulon such as went forth to battle expert in war with all instruments of war 50,000 which could keep rank they were not of double heart these people are sincere they are not of double heart they are dependable they are dependable experts in all instruments what what do you can think of they are experts they are dependable but they are experts in all instruments as a mission agency we need experts Professionals in all feet. Think of any feet. You're a teacher, we need you. You're a professor, we need you. You're a Muratos professor, we need you. You're a medical doctor, ah, there is no a medical mission, we need you. You're a carpenter, we need you. You're an electrician, we need you. We need all. Expert, all professional in all fields, to go and help the full time missionary to do some work. Those who have accomplished the medical mission here, they will testify that there, there are many people who would have never even come out to any church that came to receive glasses or whatever they have distributed at that time. To go and dig well or borehole for any people, they are likely to listen to your gospel. Much more than when you do So we need experts in all fields, in all professions, to join us and come and contribute their quota to help us. When you have your leave, when you have your holidays, you can go there. Organize coaching course for mathematics or English for two or three months. Nothing. An accountant, you are, you are welcome. That's nothing that is useless in the mission field. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Point number nine. I will not close. Us. Men of war, men of missions that could keep rank, we should be sincere. Came with a perfect heart. We should do this work with a perfect heart. To Abraham to make David king over all Israel. And, and all the rest also of Israel were with one heart to make David king. Brethren, if we as mission agency are sincere and with perfect heart, help our missionaries on the mission field, the people will be of one heart to accept our Jesus and make our Jesus the Lord and the King. And thereby we will re reveal Jesus Christ all over the world. Every one of us should be sincere with a perfect heart. Help our missionaries and then the people, the national, they will respond with one heart and accept our Jesus. We will both now make our Lord the King. And our, our purpose will be achieved. We'll be able to reveal our Christ to 
for our nation. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Last point, num point number 10. I am going to just we have separated people as full-time missionaries. And we have got separated people as prayer warrior. Then we should have separated giver. Because mission work is not a joke. I'll be professor here. It requires a lot of money. It's not joke. How did David Army raise fund? Verse 39 and verse 40. And there they were with David three days, eating and drinking for their brethren, for their 